Here I have a sphere with a procedural material created using nodes in Blender and we want to export this part and his texture to Unreal Engine. Right now parts with procedural textures cannot be exported directly to Unreal Engine but we will use a simple trick to handle this issue. Let's start selecting our part with the procedural material. Shift A and let's add an image texture. Let's create a new one. Let's put a name. In this case will be my diffuse map. Choose a resolution. In my case 496. Uncheck alpha. And OK. Let's open our new image texture, which right now it's completely blank. Let's now create a UV map for this sphere. Enter edit mode. Press U. And smart UV project. So now we have our UV map ready. Let's go back to shading. Now select the part and the image texture. Go to cycles. CPU and then bake. Let's choose diffuse. Uncheck these ones. Okay, and bake. Okay, now we have our first texture map. Let's save this image. Okay, let's now create a new texture. This will be our roughness map. For all the other maps, this will be non color. Change to roughness and bake. Okay, now we have our roughness map. Let's save it. Save. Okay, let's do this one more time, this time for a normal map. So, new texture. Okay. Change this to normal. This one to non color. And bake. Okay, now we have our normal map. With this tree for now will be enough for this texture. Okay, now we can delete this. Let's save our normal map. Okay, now let's delete this to test our texture maps. So select all. Okay, now let's add our texture maps. And connect each one to the principal VSDF. Shift A. Vector, normal map. And connect. OK. Everything looks fine. So now we are ready to export all to Unreal Engine 5. For more on how to export from Blender to Unreal, you can check out our tutorial number 1 from this series. Ok, now I have imported everything to Unreal Engine 5. First let's create a material. Right click material. Name it as you want. Now let's open the roughness texture and uncheck sRGB also for normal okay now let's open the material and add the texture maps connect the diffuse map to the base color roughness to roughness and normal to normal now save Close. 
and drag the material to the sphere and it's done. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.